Yesterday, NASA said the risk of a space rock hitting Earth is six times greater than we thought. And as if on cue, a meteor streaked through the night sky in the west. Here's John Blackstone. Some described it as a fireball. Others called it a bright green flash. The meteor that lit up the sky over Southern California last night caused no damage, but plenty of excitement. Paul Chodas tracks asteroids and meteors at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. We think that that was a uh, perhaps a football-sized asteroid that and something like that hits the Earth fairly frequently, maybe every day or so, somewhere on the Earth. There seem to be more sightings lately. I think that um, there's more awareness of the asteroid hazard than there was before. The asteroid hazard became all too apparent in February when a flash in the sky over northern Russia was so powerful the shock waves shattered windows, knocked people to the ground, and injured more than a thousand. The asteroid, 60 feet across, was traveling at 40,000 miles an hour. It was brighter than the sun, 30 times brighter than the sun. Scientists say there are some 20 million space rocks like the one that exploded over Russia. Scientific papers published yesterday predicted one could come every 10 or 20 years, rather than once in a century as previously believed. If you find one coming this way, how do we deflect it? We could launch a mission uh, of a spacecraft that would go and hit the asteroid moving in the opposite direction. That would be enough to move a massive asteroid just a little bit, and that would make it uh, miss the Earth. While small asteroids are hard to spot, enormous ones of the size thought to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs are likely to be found well before they reach Earth. The dinosaurs didn't have a space program. We do. John Blackstone, CBS News, Los Angeles.